Welcome to our patching render video. You can see we've got some Tyrolean render here. It's hollow, the water's got in. There was no cement in the in the mix when it was patched the first time and as you can see it's just pure sand. They're hacking it off with a claw hammer here and it's just falling off. Um, before we're going to start rendering, we just temporarily remove the, the pipe works that could be in our way and make the job a nuisance. So just cut those off. We can uh, couple them up later on, not a problem. To get the main bulk of the render off, we're going to use a cranked chisel um, in a Hilti gun. And the crank allows it a lot easier to run along the surface of the wall and take off the, uh, the render that we need to patch up. So you can see it's quite a big area. We tested every now and again with the claw hammer to see what was hollow and to make absolutely sure that we've taken it right back to solid render. When we've got the main areas off, we run along the edges with the chisel just to make sure that there's nothing hollow behind it. Cut the edges back to solid render. And then before we put the new render on, we mix up some SBR 50-50 with water, 50% SBR, 50% water. Brush all the dust off the, the surface of the wall and around the edges, make sure there's no loose stuff there, and then paint the SBR into all of the masonry. Mix up a bit of uh, sharp sand, 50% sharp sand, 50% soft sand at um, 4 to 1 mix, 4 with 4 cement, and fill any deep holes so that we've got a relatively smooth surface to render onto. Mix our render up. Go and see our rendering video to see the mixes to use for this. Uh, two coat render. Uh, the first coat, it's all sharp sand and soft sand mixed. Stick the first coat on, press it hard, get it into the wall. Make absolutely sure that you've got a uniform covering. Unlike skin plastering, the thin coat is the first coat. So around five to six millimeters of render going on for the first coat, just to cover the surface up and then the rest of the render will go on in the second coat. About 10 millimeters or so for the second coat. Push it right down into the edges. Make sure you work it well into the brickwork. Move along the wall and fill all of the gaps up. Doing a freehand corner is a question of taking your time, putting the render in a little bit of the time. If you try and put it on too deep, it will just fall off. So a bit of the time, build the corner up. Use your trowel and I'll show you how we get it nice and neat later on. This is a polyurethane float. We're going to use that just to rub the first coat in gently. And then with some screws put into holes drilled in the end, we're going to scratch the surface. So this is called a scratching coat and that gives the second coat a really good key. So we can unwind the screws to get a smooth polyurethane float. Wind the screws in a little bit to get a nice scratching coat. And there we have a good key for our second coat. We can see we've replaced the pipe temporarily on the end of the first day. And on the second day we'll come back and we'll mix our render up. Um, go and have a look again at the uh, rendering video and you'll see the mixes that we've used here. And build the render up. A nice strong mix. Build the render up to the surface of the existing wall. Get a piece of timber or a spirit level or a straight edge. Run it over the existing. It's quite a difficult one, this, because the surface is Tyrolean. The white bits are Tyrolean, so they're all lumpy and bumpy. Um, but you can get a really good idea using a straight edge so that your render is built up to the surface, and in this case, just a little bit below, below the Tyrolean surface. And I'll show you how we achieve that in a moment. But use your straight edge to drag the render through so that you're just under the level of the Tyrolean. And then we're going to get our polyurethane float again and rub it right in, rubbing the surplus off so that the uh, the, surplus of our, the surface of our new render is just a little bit below the Tyrolean. Then we're going to sponge it over to make sure that we've absolutely closed the surface. And that sponge is really useful for filling in a few holes and going over the edges of the 
new patch of render where it meets the existing to get it looking smooth and just under the surface. We're using the sponge as well to freeform that corner. That was a radius corner there. Um, and that gives us a really lovely finish and it closes the surface up, uh, stopping the water penetration and making sure we've got a nice closed surface. And there we have our patch of render complete. Both sides, as you can see, that's nice and smooth and it's just underneath the surface, ready for Tyrolean, which comes in another video on how to get a Tyrolean finish. And there's the finished job. Two or three days later, when we applied the Tyrolean, two coats of that, and uh, away we go with a job that's gone right back to the existing.